if the two forces have the same line of action in the same direction this is f1 and this is f2 the two forces have the same line of action in the same direction so the angle between the two forces is zero so alpha is zero and cosine zero is one so cosine alpha is one so the resultant is square root of f1 squared plus f2 squared plus 2f1 times f2 times cosine alpha is 1. This is a perfect square trinomial. Put this term in the middle and factorize it to be square root of f1 plus f2 all squared. So remove the square root. The resultant simply equals the sum of the two forces or the resultant equals or equals f1 plus f2. In this case, the resultant is called the greatest or the maximum value of the resultant. So if given the maximum value of the resultant, so R or the resultant equals F1 plus F2. If the two forces have the same line of action, but opposite direction, this is F1 and this is F2, the two forces have the same line of action, but opposite directions, so the angle between the two forces is 180 degree. If alpha is 180 degree, so cosine alpha is negative 1. In this case, the resultant equals square root of F1 minus F2 all squared. So the resultant equals only consider the positive value of F1 minus F2 or absolute value of F1 minus F2. To remove the absolute value sign, simply assume that F1 is greater than F2. In this case, R is called the smallest or the minimum value of the resultant. So if the two forces have the same line of action, if they are in opposite direction, so the resultant equals F1 minus F2, where F1 is greater than F2. And if the two forces have the same direction, so the resultant equals F1 plus F2. This is the greatest or the maximum value of the resultant. And this is called the minimum value of the resultant. Two forces act at a particle if the maximum value of the resultant is 17 kilogram weight. So we are given a maximum value. And the minimum value of this is the maximum value of the resultant. And the minimum value of the resultant is 7 kilogram weight. So this is the minimum. So this is the minimum value of the resultant. Find the magnitude of each of the two forces. Assume that F1 is greater than F2. The maximum is 17. So F1, so R equals, in this case, R equals F1 plus F2 equals 17 kilogram weight. The minimum resultant is 7 kilogram weight. So the minimum resultant is F1 minus F2. This is equal to 7. Now we have two equations. Now add the two equations. Solve the two equations to get F1 and F2. F1 plus F1 to be 2F1. F2 minus F2 cancel each other. So this is equal to 17 and 7 to be 24. Now divide by 2 to get F1 equal to 24 divided by 2 to be 12 kilogram weight. Substitute in the first equation. F1 plus F2 is 17. F1 is 12. Substitute. So 12 plus F2 is 17. So F2 is 5 kilogram weight.